Brother, I'm so sad. A stranger just left a message on my social media platform saying random things that are so irresponsible. How come people are so mean these days? What you experience is, is actually what lots of young people right now, and not just young people, most of the people who are using social media platforms are experiencing. Not just happening at where you are, a little bit everywhere in the world. This is another sign of uh, social media. Things has been out of people's control and people don't know uh, how to deal with that. And there are a lot of bad situations that happen to people who are using uh, social media. They are not able to manage their emotions and many situations that have led them to suicidal. This is not a very dark side of uh, new technology. If we don't know how to practice, it's very easy for us to just say whatever we want to say. And also, we may feel for those who are fragile, especially, we can be affected very easily by what people say, why, by what people express on, on the social media. In Buddhism, we talk about right speech, and right speech is one of the is part of the noble eightfold path in Buddhism. It is the practice that is based on the foundation of understanding and love, and it's not uh, right when we say, "Oh, right speech," is we are telling people the truth that is called right speech, but right speech has to be spoken to be expressed in a way that lifts people up. It's not mm. to bring people down. And it's like I said earlier, it is based on understanding and love. It's very crucial for us all to understand about this. And if we don't really understand the situation, we might say things that may make the situation worse and worse. But if we do understand how the situation is, we who know what to say and what not to say so that we can help improve the situation, can help people out, get out of the situation. And right now, I, I think also sometimes use social media and I see people, like you said, they just give, they leave comments in a very not responsible way and they just want to express feeling inside themselves. It cause a lot of uh, stress um, to the, the people who read because they are not spreading something positive, but spreading something very negative. And that affects a lot of people's lives and how they feel when they read on those comments. And it is good that uh, when we know how to manage, how to be aware of what we are going to say, what we are going to express on social media, so that we can bring more joy, bring more hope, bring more positive values to the people. Social media itself is not a bad thing, but it depends on how we use social media, the intention behind. So this become, we call it a collective consciousness nowadays. Um, people feel that that's very normal to just express what you feel that is right, but maybe it may hurt the people who read those comments and those words online. This is really not nice. I think we can all spread the teaching of right speech in Buddhism so that people can learn how to be responsible for what they say. As long as they are aware of what they're going to say, what kind of value they're going to bring to people, then they, they better say something that is more positive, that is more constructive, that can bring more hope, more peace, more joy to people instead of uh, bringing people's down in their way, how they feel and how they express their opinions online. But sometimes truth is very hard to accept. How can we practice to deliver the, this message in a better way? Right speech is, has to be based on understanding and love. If in that situation you think you are telling the truth to people, you just tell the truth how you feel, but actually you're hurting people. So that's why 
we have to be very mindful, very skillful. We can tell the truth in a very skillful way. And we have to understand the situation so that we can address or to say things that is more, that is more easy uh, to accept. I just want to give an example. You come home very late today and you're very hungry. Your mom prepared some food for you. Maybe she's not good at cooking, but she has put her heart into cooking. So that is how she expressed her love for her daughter. But if we come home very tired, we're not aware of the situation or how much love your mom put into this dish for you. Maybe it's not that tasty, but if you after eating it, how come it's not so tasty and it's very salty, very sour, that you are telling the truth, but actually you are hurting your mother feeling. If as a practitioner, we have to be mindful in all situations, what to say, what not to say. Maybe if we say the truth, but it's not in the right moment, then it's gonna hurt people instead of helping people. So we can also can say the truth, but it's in a better way, in a more skillful way. We can just say, oh, mom, thank you so much. Like this is how we talk about in a monastery, loving speech. Thank you, mom, for cooking. Thank you, mom, for putting on your time into cooking for me this late. I'm very grateful uh, for what you did. And, uh, I'm very happy actually, I've been coming home very tired, so we show our appreciation for what she did, cooking a dish for us. And this is already loving speech, that is right speech. But then maybe if we feel comfortable, if we feel we have uh, in a clear mind, we can tell a little more, but uh, it's a little bit sour, next time you can put less salt, make we tell the truth, but in a very joyful way. She, at least she already feels, oh, she has been appreciated. Her daughter knows how much love she has put into the cooking. So that already lifts her up. And now we're telling the truth, people, it's, it's easier for people to accept. But if right away, mommy is so sour or so salty, then maybe she doesn't say anything at that time but she will be very sad. Mm. I believe so. Mm. Wow, it sounds like a long way for me to practice. If I would like to learn more, is there any way I can go to practice? A very special program called 1000 Meditation People Event, and it happens every year, and in the past many years already. And so our tradition, Plum Village, has been joining this event we are trying to bring different kinds of practices of meditation in our tradition at Plum Village, show people what it is to be in a meditation event. This year is going to happen in from 8th to 9th, uh, June 2024. And if, if everybody can make your time, so please come and join us. Thank you, brother.